Greetings, fifth graders. This is Unit 5, Week 3 introduction video. Yes, we are skipping around a little bit, but um, that's mostly because we wanted to do this unit this coming week because it is Earth Day this week on Wednesday. So we thought it'd be a really good idea to do some stuff about the Earth. Um, so this is going to be focusing on what changes in the environment affect living things. And I'm doing it a little different today. So remember, you can do the words into your three subject notebook if you want to, um, so that you'll have them maybe for next year if you need them. So let's get into this. Um, our concept this week is our changing earth, and we have certainly seen that recently. Um, but I want you to take a look at this picture of monarch butterflies. And the monarchs are a fascinating insect because each year they migrate from different places in North America. They only live in North America. You can't find them anywhere else, maybe a little bit in South America, but not much. You won't find them in Europe or Africa, just North America. And um, they migrate every year as part of their life cycle. So they're a pretty cool little creature. Um, but environmental changes have had some effect on them. They have lost their habitat because humans have been cutting down trees in Mexico where they spend their winters, as well as in the Northwest region of the United States along uh, the coast of Washington and California. And they've also lost habitat because of forest fires in California and in uh, Washington and Oregon. So they've had kind of a rough time of it, but some of them are making a comeback because uh, people have changed the things that they do to um, help save them. So um, some good and some not so good news for the, the monarch butterflies, but um, you can be a part of helping them because part of their migration pattern is to come through Kansas and they really like milkweed to eat when they're baby caterpillars and they need that food for their little caterpillar eggs when they lay them so that they can keep their generations of butterflies migrating. So the earth is always changing and sometimes the changes are gradual, which means, you know, a little bit slower. And sometimes it's pretty sudden, like if there's a volcanic eruption. So scientists study the way the change in seasons and change in the earth affects living things. And they look for patterns so that we can help the earth do better. Um, just like these monarchs, they adapt to change by migrating. So they stay in the winter, they stay in Mexico, and in the summer times they go where it's cooler, usually in Canada. So they make a long journey each year for um, their survival. So, all right, let's move on to our vocabulary for this week. There are eight words this week, and um, you're going to be responsible for answering questions over them this week. So we're back up to our normal eight, like we had been before uh, we started doing home learning. So here we go. The first word is atmosphere. And it's a noun. And the atmosphere is a layer of gases around the earth. We've kind of talked about this a little bit in science. And clouds form in our atmosphere, and that is, again, the layer of gases around the Earth. The next word we have is decays. And if something decays, it rots or it spoils. And the picture here is some fruit salad that is going not good right now. You can even see a little bit, I never noticed this before, a little bit of mold up here in that one, yuck. So when fruit decays or rots, it is not very tasty and should not be eaten, especially by humans. So don't eat rotten food. The next word we have is gradual. Gradual, it's an adjective, so it describes something. And uh, when a change is gradual, it happens slowly. 
So our sentence for this picture is the release of sand in an hourglass is gradual so that it, it takes one hour. Sometimes you can find ones that are even slower or faster. Okay, our next word is impact and it is a noun and it is something that has a strong effect on someone or something else. So a veterinarian has a big impact on the health of a pet. I hope you would agree with that. Next word we have is noticeably. It is an adverb. So that means it describes how someone or something does something. And it usually ends with L-Y. So something that is easy to see is noticeably, such as if a plant has grown noticeably, it is easy to see that it has gotten bigger. Um, and in this picture, Jose's hair was noticeably shorter after his haircut. And I bet some of you need a noticeably to, it's noticeably longer hair than what you used to have. Okay, our next word is receding, and it is a verb, an action word. And when something is receding, it is moving back away. So if you look at the picture there, the mountains are receding. And the sentence is, as I drove away, the mountain seemed to be receding in the distance. So it means to go back. The next word that we have is stability. Stability, it's a noun. And if something has stability, it is solid, steady, and doesn't change much. So our sentence that goes along with our picture here is, while his sprained leg healed, Stefan used crutches for stability when walking. And I've had to use crutches before. Sometimes they make you have stability and sometimes they don't. The next word that we have is variations, and that is a noun. It's a plural noun, in fact, because we have an S on the end of it. A variation is the amount that something changes, such as a variation in the temperature. So this spring, we have certainly had some variations in our temperature here in Kansas. In the valley, there are many variations in the color green. You can see that. There's some light green, some dark green. Okay, that's the end of our video for this week for the vocabulary. Don't forget to get your building, uh, building vocabulary assignment done. Should be in Schoology, um, right here with everything else. Make sure that you are using complete sentences. Make sure you put the word in that sentence that answers the question. And please make sure to use proper capitalization and punctuation. Your teachers have expected this all year long, so it's not time to quit doing that. It'll keep you in a good habit for when we start back up school next year, so, and for the rest of this year. So please do that. Please make sure that you are um, enjoying some time with your families and washing your hands, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great week.